Welcome back. In the first video, we had a little project kickoff and were talking about some of the major aspects of this project. Cut here, link in the description. Today, I want to rebuild the Lego parts of that jig here and make them smaller and more compact so that the whole thing will hopefully approach the dimensions of the final product I'm aiming for. Enjoy! I already partially disassembled here one of the old lever assemblies and uh, we don't need that lever here anymore. And as I mentioned in video number one, uh, we can put these two springs here in line. So this will give us uh, a lot of studs left here in width, I guess. Uh, let me try to get these things out here. Okay, that's number one and that's number two. That's a little bit more complicated, I guess. That should be enough. Oops. Yeah. Here it is. So, uh, also, I do want... No. Huh. Wait a second. Uh, you need see we have uh, here one start at the back that's just protruding. And if we reassemble that... One start less in length. And for the other sp spring, I wanted more spring pressure. Anyway, so let's do this here and then our wheel, the right wheel, is in the middle. Okay. And what's fitting in here? Let's see. With the springs compressed. Okay, that won't work, of course, with uh, the thing unassembled. But uh, yeah, that should be, yeah, shorter. A little bit shorter. I'll take it. Um, okay. Now I have to get colorful again. Uh, let's put a ground plate on here and also on the other side. I put the <coughs> yeah, the red and yellows <laughs> on the bottom this time. Um, not to make a political statement here by accident. Okay, how can we continue? Because I have only two Lego Technic bricks of exactly that size. So we have to be a little bit creative, I guess. Let's see. So this could fit over here. Then we don't really need a Technic brick here. And then, yeah, do I need that? Mm, ah, I know. Uh, where's my magnet? <clears throat> we just in this assembly recess the magnet. That is, I can build up this part here too. Okay, wonderful. And now it get, <laughs> gets colorful again. So, uh, a black plate here. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. We first have to get our shaft in here. And 
yeah that's not the exactly <laughs> that's not the right length uh give me a second okay a five start axle should be exactly the right length so let's put our wheel the one with the notch of course in here and where was the magnet there and just put that through here and then we snap everything the springs into position one two and close the whole thing up that was quick and there is a definitely definitely a snap action and i cannot turn that i cannot turn that by hand we will have to uh, build up a lever here so <laughs> I'm even able to turn that. Uh, I need more parts. Uh, I mean, we could reuse that atrocity here, but uh, it's too big for, <laughs> for what I have in mind. The lever will start with a, such a brick. So yeah, now I can turn that thing, but uh, there's a lot of force on it. Or, talk to be more exact then we build that up just a wee bit here and something's actually wrong that's too short because and please don't judge me it will get colorful again so yeah, and then we extend that out here because the lever will have a handle. Yeah, almost, almost there. And yeah, that's definitely a decisive action with a lot of friction um okay uh lever build up a uh, little bit longer mm. yeah let's go all out with the colors shall we Okay, finished, almost. Uh, yeah, maybe I did something wrong here because uh, if I want to, stop the movement here at plus minus 30 degrees or so, I might have to insert a stud here, for example. Yeah, that looks 60-ish degrees and I need to uh, put in a start here. Yeah. That's what happens. Oh, okay. Um, do I have the right parts for that? Okay, there it is. Oops. <clears throat> Maybe I should put the axle in first before trying. To force the springs down. my lever there it is okay it's a little bit asymmetric I uh, have to admit that and wanted 60 degrees 
Yeah, but good enough. Good enough for a prototype, I say. And we have also to build that up in height, but we do that when we're assembling the whole thing. Just a quick size comparison between the old and the new lever assembly. So in width, I was able to cut off three studs. And please note the magnet on the old assembly is exposed and not recessed. That's an additional stud. So we're down now here from approximately 5.5 centimeters to three centimeters. That's very good. Uh, in length, I was just able to cut off yeah, a strip of two studs. Yeah, the springs here, they have a certain length. So we're down there from 12 and a half centimeters to approximately 11 centimeters. And of course, it needs its mirrored sibling. That is, they are not really mirrored. Are they mirrored? Yeah, I actually mirrored them, but that was really by chance. I just see there's something missing here. Just fill up that hole. Yeah, and of course, <clears throat> this way around. Rum, rum. Okay, much smaller and um, I mean, I cannot show that in the video, but this is really, this is a nice feeling. This really needs some force. Yeah, we're going into the right direction. Okay, now let's join the whole thing together again with the electronics. And for that, I built a whole new base, which is also Oh, yeah, a wee bit smaller, a wee bit more handy. Anyways, uh, let's get in our Arduino on the breadboard. Uh, this is basically the same, but the left side here is no longer floating. So now our breadboard, if I snap it in, it's a bit floating to the left and the right. Maybe I shim something in here to hold it in place. But uh, it's uh, a prototype. Uh, we're not going for precision here like we did in our A1335 videos. I don't know if I carded them, uh, but uh, card to the first one. Links in the description. So what do we need next? Uh, of course, our throttles. Yeah, I can definitely live with that. It's a little bit off here, but yeah, it's Lego. Come on. Ah. And to make the whole thing complete, I <laughs> have something here that is, well, <clears throat> Uh, approximately, very approximately a circle made out of normal Lego bricks. And yeah, this would go over the whole length, of course, as we've seen in the commercial examples. I only have enough of these roof bricks. Uh, I was never big into Lego City, at uh, least not at a <laughs> later stage of development. And yeah. Yeah, that's it. We're now at a total height of a little over 11 centimeters. So also about 10 centi uh, one centimeter above target. Uh, width wise, uh, with the handles, we are at 12 centimeters, so 20% over target. So this has to be much narrower. And yeah, uh, lengthwise, we already know that we are at 11 centimeters, so also 10 centimeters above target. But uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. 
Before we close that video up, let's measure what's the force here exerted by the spring when it's fully retracted. Yeah, I just built that little thingy here. Okay, going to the center and... Oh, oh. So that's not a very precise measurement, but I guess we can say about 600 grams force. Uh, we can convert that into Newton, of course. <laughs> okay, uh, that was another important information point for me uh, for further designing that thing. That's it for today. Next step would probably be to make at least an initial layout for a PCB to replace that breadboard. And I'm not quite sure if I will actually put the Arduino on here or if that will be just a little small base plate to hold the two sensors. And then we just uh, bugger off with a little cable yeah, for wire, for the I2C and power supply. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. Till next time, bye.